just for a little bit of spam from when I wasn't trying to talk this morning. <laughs> but now most people should be awake, so it doesn't matter if I talk or not. But here, I'm getting the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller. I'm trying to help my allies. Shit. Vigilance, why? I've been a lot of necromancers lately. Uh oh. Um. Oh god. That it? That yeah. your best? Get his ass. Oh no, they killed Lucian. Shoot you. Die, damn you. I agree. Don't you dare fucking heal. <laughs> For some reason, there's so much ragdoll in this playthrough. What the hell? It just it catches me off guard every time. Like, I'll be playing normally, just chilling, doing my thing, shooting enemies down, killing them, blah, blah, blah. But then a sec later, the bodies are like, hee! <laughs> oh, Alright. Yeah. What is it, buddy? I was just trying to cuddle my cat so it could be loved and relaxed but as soon as you're done doing that he'll be like oh, why aren't you still doing it don't stop I have a lot of need of affection re he's a cute little fella though he's my buddy she does get some health nice I'm glad I got my level up when I did <laughs> Uh, but yeah, after going through Riftskull Cave, I have a little bit more hope. <sighs> but, um... What anyway. I? Also, uh, maybe I should eat as a werewolf, I don't know. Oh, that's right, we should have done that cannibal mission. I, hope I wouldn't have to turn into a werewolf to eat. I could just... Cannibal. Should definitely do that quest at some point. It would save me so much time. In fact, I might just do that now. It doesn't take that long to get out of the transformation after all. And there's only like, what, maybe like two bodies or so? Ain't too bad. Ah, that's right, I have to wait. Damn it. Yeah, I'm kinda fucked. So my dude's starving at the moment. I think. Also, just by the fact that I have stamina. It has to mean I have some health. Weird. Also, uh... Oh, I see. <laughs> I, I knew it took a wrong turn somewhere. Okay. Over here, huh? Damn, I would have never seen this. Especially with the blurry vision. This does not help me at all. Is that another necromancer? Cool. Um. The fuck is going on over there, bro? <laughs> like I, I don't have any DLCs on. I mean, um, mods on or anything. It's just constant necromancer war between bandits. Oh shit. Dogger. Is it because I did some of the major skill? Shit. <laughs> Sounds like a war zone. Is it because I did the Empire stuff? Oh shit. Get 
get his ass. The less work I have to do, the better. Oh shit. Hi. <laughs> oh shit. Get him, guys. Get in there. <laughs> awesome. See if I can get involved on that. If anything, the necromancer needs to die. I'm not too worried about the Draugr. The necromancer has to heal and shit. Get him, bro. Okay, somehow I shot through that. Did we get him? Nice. <laughs> Took advantage of the chaos, and we managed to loot everything. Awesome. Oh, well, kill everything. In the process. But yeah, there's got to be something going on, though. Like, I don't remember this many conjurers being everywhere. Is it because of the Dawn card? Hearthfire? Dragonborn DLC? What the fuck is going on? Also, I think normally for most people, like, this is one of the dungeons that you go to, uh, very early. Uh, these things, I hate this. You put, like, a gem in there, or they have a gem, and then you... You have to open it up and shit. Let's say kill some Draugr. I'll be honest, I have no idea which way we should go. <laughs> but seeing as the Horny Jurgen wind color is that way, I should probably go here. What is this? Huh, no gem, huh? Alright. Also, I think that it counts as a uh, an enemy. So it's like when you get in there, you have to either destroy the soul gem or you have to just pick it up. I forget which combination of words, but it's something like that. And yep, guys, in a couple hours here, I have to go with my dad to go on uh, uh, getting my COVID shot. I don't have COVID, but it's like, yeah, just take it that way. You know, you you have the anti-COVID thing in your blood. <laughs> I swear, if I get sick from this shit, I'm going to be fucking pissed. Like, I probably won't trust my dad, like, if I survive with, uh, like, future sicknesses that go on in the world. Like, let's say there's, like, uh, they came up with Zika and fucking swine flu. Let's say there's some virus called, like, a entrepreneur nipple cheese. And now if entrepreneur nipple cheese becomes, like, some super infection. You know, going around and making people have diseases and shit. Like, alright. Whatever. Don't matter to me. I ain't taking no vaccine for that fucking that shit. I don't, I don't care if it's different from COVID. I don't think I'll trust it anymore after this one. That's if that's what happens to me. Because everybody's body reacts differently. And it also depends on like who's the doctor that injects it into you. And, you know, who's all around you. Stuff like that, and most of the time, in my opinion, I would think the people who were trying to get the shot are probably the people who were actually sick. You know, I know I'm not sick because like I, I've been finally this whole two huh? years that this shit's been going on. You know, so if I'm still alive and haven't given it to anybody that I interacted with, that surely says something good, right? Did I just hear another enemy pull out their weapon? Or is that Uthgur just being retarded? Oh man, that hurts. I have leftover work dirt inside the eye. And it's like underneath the eye socket, I can feel it. Eh. That's what I get for not keeping my goggles on. But it sucks though, like, when you got the mask because of COVID, plus the, you know, um, the goggles. 
you wear both your goggles fog up, you can't see shit. So you want to see anything while you're working, so you can work. You kind of don't have a choice. You have to just kind of... Wait a minute. Some more health potions. Nice. It seems like every time I go to an area, I go through all of my potions, but then right as soon as I get to a dungeon, I start finding bit by bit, but then by the time I get to the end of the dungeon, I use it again, and then I never seem to have potions on me. Like, I, I really thought that we'd be stacking them up by now, but nope, I keep having to use them. It's gotta be because of the difficulty, you know, that's kind of why I'm a sneaky archer now. I, I always did this just for the sake of fun. It was kind of thrilling to do this when I first played through. It was like, haha, look at me, I'm an archer guy. But now it's kind of like, I need to do this. So if anything, my previous, oh god, my previous gameplay is more or less a, a tutorial for what to do for this difficulty. Let's quick save. So I don't remember all of Jurgen Windcaller's little arena thing here, but I do remember the big bunch of bullshit. Also, let's see where this goes. I think this is one of them things where once you get the horn, there's like some overlord in a sarcophagus or whatever you call it. Sarcophagus, yeah. I said carcophagus. <laughs> uh, let's see. Is there a... Uh... Ah, there it is hiding over there. Yep. Where does this go? Back over? Maybe. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, this is not on the map. It's layered with the rest of the floor. I wish they would do like what they did in Oblivion where they had like floor one, floor two. If there was like a segregated chamber, you know, they would tell you like, hey, this is like a little hiding hole thing. Oh, here you go. Pretty much. Uh, I think we have to turn back around, maybe. <gasps> well, where is this? Huh. Okay. I'm guessing it's just a one chest only. Cool. If I get Uthgird. Stopped. What? If, what do you need to take? Let's see. I got some soul gem for you here. Let's see if I have any uh staffs. Hey, I got frostbite staff for you. There you go. Dagger of ice. No. All right. Let's see if let's grab up one of her staffs that I like her to use. Preferably the Jamora one. I think it'd be a lot cooler. Yeah, so now we go back to me. Oh, I have to do down my own inventory. Oops. I keep forgetting there's even an arc survival. Like, if there's something that you need to do, you have to do it on your own character. Let's see, do I have any other soul gems? Uh, I got torches to my <laughs> I mean, no way. Wow. Why I even wanted to say here. that? What do you need to take? I think I'm pretty much just trying to troll myself at this point. Cause there was no reason to mention the torches. I just, I saw it and I, brain decided, hey, let's talk about it. <laughs> Lead on then. Ah, oh, jeez. You guys need to send me mental help. What's weird though is, uh, fun fact actually, uh, because I'm, uh, I've I've had anger issues and even. Uh, with my mom who, you know, messed with my dad quite a bit, abuse, craziness, drama, tried to frame dad, get him jailed, all kinds of shit. Um, oh god, no, 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 no. Um, you know, my stepmom was like, oh, you should give her a chance. And when I say no, she said, oh, maybe you need therapy. I tried therapy, and all it did was make me more angry. So, I mean... People say, oh, you should get mental help if you are the way you are. Well, like, I tried. <laughs> I don't I don't want to attack the therapist. That's the thing. So, yeah, I, I, I'd rather not go to jail. Oh, God. Who 
this card. Is it because I have like a flea on dead power alongside this uh, bow? Let me see. There's gotta be a reason. It takes 20 frost damage and health damage. Huh. Alright. Whatever. Yeah, now to go back to helping. Uthgur, what the fuck are you doing? Is it because you wanted to follow me? Is my Dramor at least going here? Wow, even he's being stupid. What the fuck? Wow. Wow. Like for me though, I'm a sniper. Nice. I think some of these have yet to open, but a we'll quick save. Just in case so I don't have enough time to get out. Let's see. Forward sprint is on. Cool. So that way I can back up and try to get Uthgird to do something. Should the need arise. Battle axe, one of my arrows. Okay. I think we're starting to run low on arrows too. But at least we got plenty of Nordic arrows, that's good. Let's so take this. Mm -hmm. No enemies nearby. Interesting. Let's see what time it is. Seven seventeen. So I think somewhere around like seven fifty. I wanna go take a shower, eat some breakfast and shit. Take care of my cat's litter box. Maybe even clean up a tad. Make my dad's opinion not as bad. I imagine he's gonna walk in here. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I don't really care, but. I'm not exactly your most cleanly person. I've gotten better though. I used to like leave food out and shit and trash. I wouldn't throw out right away. I would do it, but I just by the time I threw up one bag, I feel like oh, well, the other one was more recent. I could leave that there until you know I feel like it. I'm like no, you should just taking it all out anyway. <laughs> now I usually wait until a trash bag is full and then I toss it. Just like a trash can. Oh god, not this part. I think because of my level, ah, it's gonna be like Overlord and shit. Oh. bit of movement. Motherfucker. How did I not get him? Really? Oh my god, every time he fucking moves. Oh, there you go. Ooh. Uh oh.
ammo. Yeah. As long as we can use some sniping, I'll take advantage of that. Let's see, I don't have any food, do I? A little bit. Won't help me too much, but it should hold me over just a tad. Two points is better than no points. Also, I'll be hearing noises. What's going on? Oh well. I turned into a Skyrim character for a minute. I was looking around like, hello, what's that? Need something? Don't see that every day. Huh. <laughs> Watch out for movement. Since my sight is very limited, I have to rely on seeing some movement. Damn, oh, I can't see shit. Alright. <laughs> Let's progress then. Fuck it. That's a dead end, right? Yep, cliffside. I'm pretty sure the game makes you have to go all the way around. Actually, wait, is this horn over here? Ah, oh, that's not too far. Unless they make me go loop to loop. Which was that? Jesus. I got lucky. I didn't step on that. <laughs> Shut up, dog. Fuck him up. Oh. <laughs> At least the Dremora goes in there, all hand. Ah, I missed my chance. Let's see, got another soul gem. Let's do that. Jeez. This thing just enchants like a madman. It's crazy. Alright. Hello, Jamora. Look at that long title. Uthgur the Unbroken's Jamora Kyrieve. Jeez, man. <laughs> That's like, I can't just have it as like a your minion or your Jamora. It has to be. Uh. Alakaban's Green Moss on the third division on a Saturday. Okay. Not sure what we needed to know that, but alright. I'm guessing that Kyrev or Kyrev, whatever that pronunciation is, it's probably a ranking system for the Jamora. So maybe that's like a, a higher ranking one or a medium rank. I mean, I'm pretty sure Sanguine wouldn't hook me up with someone almost as powerful as he is. Yeah. So, if anything, it's definitely going to be a lesser. So, it would be like if I was in a world full of ants, and I sent them feigned all this event. You know, to them, they'd be like, wow, he's so strong. This event in this world is moderately good, but mostly mediocre. Oh. Where's he at? Oh. Okay. Oh, do I have this? Cool. <laughs> I'm 
pretty sure that once we do the Murak quest, though, there's a shout that summons a Jamora for you. There's one that's like a merchant, though, that can come in handy. Let's say that you need to sell some stuff and you're on the go, but you're stuck in Hermes Morris's realm, or you're stuck somewhere else of anywhere. It's very handy to just, you know, have some stuff on the ready. You know, they usually have like a good 700 to, uh, you know, 1,000 gil. I'm not sure if you can sell them anything and everything, though, which is kind of a problem, but it ain't too bad. Anywho, let's see, we got some healing potions. Let's do some of that. And that should be about all we can do. We need some food, though, in the meantime. Nice. Yeah. And just like that, we're well fed. <laughs> I, I don't understand that, but alright. Also, this is... Wait, which one's the dead end? Because this side goes around, this side goes here. I'm so confused. I don't know which way. Which way I've already gone and which way I haven't gone. Oh, no, I've definitely been here. <laughs> If there's a looted dead body in the middle, I definitely was there first. Excuse me, dog. Also, let's quick save here. Let's see. Huh. Mm -hmm. I was just funny, I've been watching more people playing uh, the survival difficulty and legendary on here. <laughs> and uh, one thing I've noticed is that I'm one of the more cautious type people. Like, most people are in, in the same difficulty, but they just walk up to a dragon and go, Oh yeah, I can melee fight you at level 12. <laughs> no. Where's your Daedric armor, bro? Where's your weapon that does, like, 72 with 15 health absorption and uh, frost damage? Like, where, where where's that at, huh? As I see no such thing. As Schultz would say, I see nothing. Let's see, is there any any gentlemen out here? That's mighty suspicious. Hmm. Oh, oh, that just screams trap, bro. Oh, come on. Run, Boothgird. <laughs> there we go. She pulled out, girl. Alright, so what's this? Dang. Alright. <laughs> Some funky breathing going on. Yeah, let's see. I think this way continues. This wish to be a little hidden corridor with loot. Just judging by the map. Oh, dude, come on. Get up. What the fuck? Sound like a wife that's dissatisfied with her husband. I like, get it up. And you know, I'm definitely going to have problems because. And this may be a TMI, so you guys can not pay attention, but there may be other dudes who suffer the same problems. Um, I spent most of my years, you know, not being really with a woman. So, maybe all the jerk and the chicken has made it to where it's hard to get it up, like, during the actual, you know, sex. So, it makes me wonder if, uh... If by the time I'm in my 40s, if I'm gonna need Viagra for like every moment, <laughs> like it sounds funny, but like if this is gonna be an actual issue, then it's like oh god, 
It's like if I get addicted to medications or if you take too much, it can like. I, I heard there's something to do with like testosterone skyrockets sometimes with certain people and that uh, they become hostile. So it'd be like if you were in Skyrim and you ate like 50 frenzy potions. Or if you gave it to your follower, your follower would probably attack anybody, anything, and even you. <laughs> and I think I have a lot of control over myself, I would think. But I mean, if something like that were to happen, I don't want to go to jail. I don't think it's going to be that bad, but, you know, we don't live in a world of magic after all. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to think about stuff and be prepared, right? I'm probably overthinking, like I said, but, yeah, I, I just thought I would talk about it. It's just something to think about, because uh, I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of dudes out there, like, even the guy who, like, sounds like he just gets all the bitches, probably has a lot of fucking, but the dude may do a lot of fucking, but he may suffer a lot of issues. He just doesn't tell anybody about the bad parts. I'm sure that there's girls like that too. They'd be like, oh my god, I get so much dick. But like, well, what about that time that like... That you weren't getting no wet. Huh? Ain't gonna talk about that, huh? Oh shit. Nice. Boom. Oh, I see him. Ah, oh, come on. Sons of bitches. They're probably working on going this way. Really? What? Did they run into a trap? <laughs> the fuck? Like, there's no way something just randomly dies. Oh, the fire's on. That's not a good sign. And it doesn't seem to say you can't outweigh because of enemies. But yeah, if this is like an actual issue, like I said, then if anything, I would have to blame my access to the internet, because like, and the same thing goes for everybody else in the world, like you, you start setting really high standards of what can get you off, or what can interest you, and you know, all that jazz, or even for the sake of like regular old entertainment too, like, you know, there's a, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. You know, let's say that when you're a kid, you can just bounce a wall, uh, a bouncy ball off of the wall, and then you're entertained. Now it's like you have to play a game like Skyrim or Dark Souls with only one weapon, just to make you happy. Which definitely sucks. Bonk. <laughs> yes. Oh no, I know what this is. Wow. <laughs> I thought that was a drogger, not a skeleton. Alright. That is another one right there. Nice, thank you for the free arrows, good sir. And now I think that up ahead here, there's going to be a Wolverine with Sprint uh, Tesserini. Also, where's this go? Oh, this goes all the way down to. Oh, there's a word of power down there. Ooh. Okay. I'm down to get that after this. I mean, I'll probably be coming back up here anyway. I don't think it really continues on the way I think it would. Let's see, let's get that. That seemed like a trap. But I think if, uh... If I didn't really kill the skeletons, taking that would add, like, some kind of alarm system and all the skeletons would just pop up. <sighs> But yeah, guys, going back to the main topic, though, like, uh, I, I, I generally wonder, like, if society is just going to start becoming to the point that we're, like, we, we don't really mate anymore. And then, you know, it definitely would decrease the population, yeah. 
but it is nice to have life. Also, I did that just in case. I wasn't sure. Hey, there's loot for the curious, huh? Nice. Anything behind here? No. Excuse me, dog. Move. With good, you too. Come on. We have exploring to do. I thought it was one of those hidden pathways for a minute. Nice. And sometimes they put these things randomly, it's weird. But you have to have a sharp eye to see them. Uh, I think up here is some kind of secret too. But it's only for people who actually have good parkour. I think this is another one of those parkour segments, right? I have to <laughs> squeeze my way in here or something. Hmm. How do I get in there? Oh well, not my problem. If I can't take everything, it's whatever. In the, in the past though, I wouldn't have let that get past me. I'd be like, yeah, I need to stay here until I can get into that. So I would legit abandon all questing, just <laughs> you know, open one door so I can see what's behind it. But yeah, I'm not gonna fall for my adventure lust that bad. Also, I remember first time playing through, I went through every body of water in dungeons especially. Not too much on the outside world, but definitely in the dungeons. And I would just go ham, just sniffing these things out, and seeing if there's any kind of hidden loot or special items to get. Also, let me see something. 7.37, yeah. Almost time for my shower. I did say around 7.50 or so. <sighs> After that, I'll probably come back and record a little bit more until my dad shows up. So he said he's going to take me to the mall and there's either some kind of appointment or he knows where to go. Something, something. Full run sprint. Fade becoming. <gasps> Yo, it's one of my favorite shouts. No way. Yeah, boy. Yo, this thing will come in handy, especially on this difficulty. Because there's times where I need my allies to pull aggro for a minute, and becoming eternal it just makes everything so much easier. I, I didn't select it, did I? Alright, good. <laughs> I know sometimes when I get something new, I hit select. And then let's say I want to use Warbird Sprint, and I'm using my new shout or new magic spell. But lucky for me, I don't have any magic, so it's not like I'll actually use it and blow my cover when I'm trying to be stealthy or something like that. Which is nice to know. And I think this is the route that leads into that secret area over there. So that should be good. Maybe. If not, then... Alright. <laughs> Maybe there's a different route later on. It if it had some fancy music going on there, is there some kind of a... Uh, lever? this spot too. After that we'll climb on back up and do my business. But yep. Make sure we quick save just in case. But yeah, pretty wild though before we got to these stronger though, it's like necromancers and bandits and oh god. Okay, I'm not stuck. 
<laughs> I was going to say, do I have to drop all of my loot just to get out of here? But this ain't too bad. Thank goodness. Alright, so yeah, let's go this way. Nice. Alright, good. There's not enemies nearby to fuss about my Warman Sprint. But yeah, I think this is one of them things where like, I need my Sprint so I can uh, break on through to this gate. But I'm worried about my followers, so we may end up not having a buddy with me or two. I don't know. Also, since I'm in here, I kind of wonder, maybe I could, uh, well, let's just do, oh, okay. Uh, let's see, I lose 27 defense, or no, 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 46 defense for 40 health. So if anything, I would be weaker if I put that on. Health-wise, though, I would have more, but if I could maybe enhance that when I get a chance, it might be a better piece of armor. Speaking of that, for defense-wise, since I usually almost never get a chance to mess with defense, do I have anything that can make me more tough? Like, even the ebony helmet? No? Wow. So this Stalrum armor is actually really good. <laughs> cool. It's a good thing I downloaded that uh, Greater Club thing. If anything, if, if I didn't have this armor, I probably, by now, would be wearing ebony or something. Or... One of those things. Oh god. I got lucky I didn't get found out there. Let's go back to my bow. And do I have a gem? Nice. I swear I'm gonna use like every gem just doing this. Stupid. Skeletons are definitely a nice break from all the rest of the shit. And I remember in uh, Oblivion, skeletons were like almost everywhere. It was ridiculous. And now I forget, like, didn't this thing have like a correct combination to open or something like that? Let's save just in case there's some traps or something goofy. I remember it being like a one, two, three. Something like that. Ah. So it recognizes the blood signature of the Dovahkiin, huh? Okay. I see now. Let's quick save. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> yeah, now my followers can join me. Awesome. Save. Let's get my uh, my bow back. Awesome. Get ready. Trouble ahead. I kind of figured that out too. Hmm, nothing. There's gotta be some kind of tomb though. Oh, this is that puzzle bullshit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I hate this mission. If I wasn't encumbered, I would be fine right now. I think the best way to do it, though, is to, like, kind of over and sprint over and just be like, meh. Or, if anything, we could probably make use of my new ability. I should do that. I don't know how well it'll do, but <laughs> fuck it. Trial and error, right? Oh shit, there's enemies. What the fuck? Oh shit. Vigilance went. 
Wait, this became a thermal. Came in handy with this. It's cool. Just need to sink to the sides and use become a thermal whenever we can. Sorry, buddy. Is there any enemies over there? Oh, there is. What the fuck here? Nice. Really? I'm a spider, so what? Oh god. Stay back, demon. Did he just heal himself? Oh. <laughs> Get fucked. Nice. Quick save. Alright. Fight the big boy. Oh shit. Uh, I'm gonna try to get out of here. Shit. Dude, keep him back. What the fuck? You dumb bitch. You're gonna get us killed. Oh my god. Almost dead though. We're doing good. Oh god. Please keep him busy. Please. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. Awesome. Quick save. Let's do it again just in case. <laughs> I, I, I would rather save now than never. Nice buster. That's a big ass fucking spider. Oh, I thought he was part. Uh, I thought he was part other guy for a minute there. I've seen last like a good five seconds. That ain't too bad. That five seconds gave me a good interval to like move from place to place. Nice. This will eventually come in handy for once I have the the, the Talos necklaces again, and then I start using a uh, Wolverine Sprint, so then I can escape from dragons at high speed, mm -hmm. or if I'm ever just not over encumbered too, that could be great. <laughs> Around the web, huh? <laughs> Let's see anything else I can loot here. I think some of these give you health. Some of them. Let's see ingredients. Looks like we definitely use a little bit of something there. Let's see restore health. Any potions that can help me? There we go. What's the health? Okay. That ain't too bad. It's better than nothing. Alright. <sighs> 748. So I definitely want to progress a good amount though. I don't just want to leave this the way it is. I, I, I at least want to get the horn with you guys. So I want to try something. I wonder if from here I could maybe shoot through. Really? Wow. I legit bet that like 
this whole area has stronger. And all those little quarters. Oh god, what's the point of that? That's not more dead people, right? Because I'm pretty sure there's a Draugr at the back. Where's my friend? Oh shit, Uthgur's not following me, right? Shit. Oh no. I forgot about that. Fuck. And not to mention my dog is probably somewhere way behind. Fuck. Sorry, buddy. I'm coming. I still have my, uh... Okay, good. And, of course, my ear just giving me problems. Let's just stop. Re. I did all that walking for no reason. Well, you big baby. I'm guessing most of the traps are gone now. Maybe from progression. Lead the way. You've stopped. What is it? I still you think that we actually killed our dog. I don't see him anywhere. Yeah. Ah. Are you activating every trap? Ah. Oh, that's right. My feet don't activate pressure ah. plates. <laughs> I forgot I have that skill now. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I know what we should do. I should maybe get that big ass spider with us. Let me go over there real quick and reanimate some bitches. So I think maybe if I stand over here, I might be able to reanimate the big one and the little guys. That way we have a little bit of help. Should. Yep. Nice. It's at least been a good little bit, so. And yeah, got me some buddies. Awesome. Sweet. Now I could do this with confidence. Awesome. I probably won't be able to fit my my big spider into here, but you now we'll try to get most of them. At least the little ones will be somewhat strong. They'll at least distract a Draugr if need be. And if the Draugr is dumb enough to fall into the water, that'd be even better too. I don't see that every day. Yeah, you're right. You know what else I don't see every day? Me fucking dying. Cause I don't die all the time, thank goodness. Mysterious note. Oh, that's right. That's, um, what's her face? Delphine. <laughs> I remember that. She, she took the horn and was waiting for the dragonborn. What's funny though is if you think about it, then, you know, it would be her descendant or something. Or the next blade after. Like surely if she if there was no Dragonborn, she would have probably passed her unless oh you know what? Maybe she came through here after learning that there was a Dragonborn and knew that, that the Greybeard summon would lead to this at some point. And then she took care of this immediately after, which sounds probably very likely. And I think this is the end of the dungeon, so yeah. Cool. Perfect fitting for the ending of the video. You know, gather all the stuff from here, take my reward. I remember the first time I came to this place, I had like no money at all. So when I got to this point, I was like, yeah, I got so much money. But now I'm like such a major loot obsessed person uh, that, you know, I have 80,000 now at like level 20. So I think younger me would probably see me as like a god. Is I know what I'm doing now. Uh, stretch. Do I have any food? Nope. Alright. Well, for now, let's keep on crouching and keep my movement a little bit faster. I think. Do I have that thing where I can roll now? No. I think that's stamina based. Let me see real quick. Archery. Hmm. 
Hmm. Unless that's a sneak thing. This should be like a sneak roll option. Ah, uh, I see. So that's gonna be my next level up. Gotcha. I just wonder if it costs stamina or not, because if not, then I would just roll to every destination. <laughs> I do think it's uh, stamina based though, which would kind of suck, but that's alright. So, yep, we successfully beat this dungeon. I think we kind of sort of over prepared, but that's alright. Let's see if I have any messages from anybody. Nope. Cool. So now there's something I want to see. Um, uh, didn't I have to stop by Dawnstar for stuff? It's a busy museum. No, I don't need to do that. Let's see, Valenrude. I know what the vampire is seeking. Lucky Grimsaver. Ola first. Investigate the burnt house. Uh, there was something of great importance besides the companion's mission. Let me see. It's got to be like a recent quest or something. There was something that was actually really interesting I wanted to do. I said, meet whoever took the horn. So let's see where that takes me. Riverwood, right? Yep. Now we'll go into the next quest. And let's, see, let's kill the target. Target is at Winterhold. Oh, I have to go to Winterhold. Okay. But if anything, what I should do is I should probably travel south where I currently am. Like, I'm pretty sure I'll end up in Morthal and shit. We'll just head directly south. I could always go here to the east and then maybe make my way to one of these places. But I don't... Oh, that's right. We stole a horse. Uh, so maybe I could turn into a werewolf and run over to here. Dunstad or Fort Felomar, whichever one. It's definitely not that one, I think. But it's one one of these that have a horse. That should help me out. Yeah. Okay. We'll figure it out. And then I'll be able to head straight over to Winterhold after that. And then after Winterhold, I'll make my way over to uh, Windhelm. Maybe sell some goodies. That we picked up from my adventure. And so on and so forth. I definitely want to expand on my Thieves Guild quest though. After Thieves Guild was still working on companions. Yeah, so I think we're back to where we started, right? No, no, no. Keep the bow out. Don't stop. Yeah. I could always travel south though. So I think I have a horse in White Run. So, I mean, may maybe we should. <laughs> uh, my biggest issue to worry about is, like, you know, trying to pass through this type of area. With uh, all the snow and all that. I could always just run back to Solitude and then get a horse, but then I would travel a longer distance to get to my destinations. Um, fine, maybe I should just <laughs> go this way. Alright. And any rate, let's just put the waypoint. This way, at least I know. And if I can just survive, then I'll be fine. See if I can summon Lucian after I turn into a werewolf. And... Alright. I have methods. And I think we have healing potions too, should I need it. And the werewolf form is pretty handy. I can howl most creatures away. The problem, though, would be Uthgird. She would probably run away from me. That would suck. But she'll keep my loot on her, which is nice of her. That's good, buddy. Let's see, did I loot this already? I did. Cool. Alright. Damn it. Yep, once we get outside, we'll turn to werewolf or maybe right at the exit. That way, as soon as I get out, I can just bolt. Run straight for the goal. Yeah. I at least want to get this done before I go shower. <laughs> so shower, take care of my cat litter box. Maybe I should take care of cat litter box first. So let's say I get really clean, but then Cat Dookie goes at the wrong place if I'm clumsy. That's the last thing I need. Is a reason to shower twice? 
Because I, I think if, as a person, if we stay too liquidized, we, uh, 